So, what is the secret? What are those few topics which you need to master in first priority? What are those another few topics in second priority? And what are those large number of topics that you need to ignore and move on in every subject? How do you know that? How do you know that? So I'll just share my screen um, to explain you that. Yeah, that's good. Now, if you take any subject, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, etc., etc. There are six major institutes in the country that conduct original question paper, original in sense, they do a lot of research in order to compose the questions and then conduct the entrance exams. So these six exams are our uh, fundamental database that we need to master. So what are they? All India Institute of Medical Sciences every year two question papers it conducts. So two into 200 questions, 400 questions into past 20 years, nearly around 8,000 MCQs are being released by the All India Institute. Now PGI, Chandigarh, similarly another 8,000 questions. AIPMT, I mean All India Postgraduate Medical Entrance, AIPG, later became NEET PG, NEET PG. Similarly, another 8,000 questions in the past 20 years. Similarly, DMB, excellent question bank, another 8,000. Nowadays, there is no DNB, but DNB question bank is really appropriate all the time. You need to master. Then Chitma. Another 8,000 questions. They do a lot of homework in order to compose the question bank. And uh, the foreign medical graduate exam. Don't ignore it. You think it is for the people who went to China and came back. No. Whether foreign medical graduate exam, question paper sectors or all India need PG sectors, they are one and same. That's the reason that question bank also we need to review. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 48,000 questions we are talking about now. Out of these 48,000 questions, if you take repetitions, almost all 50% are repeated here and there, here and there. It boils down to around 20,000 unique questions, unique questions from these 19 subjects. So if you take these 20,000 unique questions in these uh, 19 subjects, unique, each subject, 20,000 divided by 19, each subject has about 700 to 800 unique questions that, that you need to go through. You need to pass through, master them and understand what is there in the mind of the teacher. What is there in the mind of examiner who is going to test you. So out of the 700 to 800 unique questions, let us say, a subject like microbiology. What we have done is we took every question and labeled which topic this belongs to. Okay, this question belongs to Streptococcus. This question belongs to Chlamydia. This question belongs to, oh, once more Streptococcus. This question belongs to disinfectants. Disinfectants. Oh, this question belongs to Sterilization, this question belongs to DNA, RNA viruses. Like every question we have been labeling, 
which topic, which topic does this question belong to? Finally, we ask your computer, Mahoday, please give us all the questions in a particular topic at one place and show me what is the pattern of examiner. Then what did computer Mahoday did? It brought all questions belonging to DNA, RNA, viruses asked out of these 800 questions to one place. It brought all questions asked in streptococcus to one place. So when we have done that, we ask next the computer Mahudai, please show us those topics which are most frequently asked to least frequently asked. So that's how the computer, which doesn't have a brain, whose IQ is zero, turns out to be more smarter than the PG entrance preparing student. It said, this is the, till now we are talking about six entrance exams, postgraduate medical entrance exams. Past 20 years we are talking about and uh, almost all 120 occasions the entrance had been conducted. Six entrances, 20 years is 120 to 150. Out of them, every time microbiology, microbiology, how many questions come? Around 20 questions come. 